A few days ago, I was having a conversation with one of my entrepreneur friends. I told him about my anger whenever I see young people who are not serious about their lives. I told him that I feel that it's not the fault of these young people. Instead, I blame the society that raised them. Then I told him something most people don't know. And that is, some of us consciously changed the society that raised us to the ones we wanted. You do these things by learning from the people you want to emulate. Think about this. Your father is he who you respect and listen to. And since who you listen to determine your future, changing who you listen to can change what your future looks like. Since I've decided to become an entrepreneur several years ago, I have changed who I listen to. I made it a duty to learn from successful entrepreneurs simply because that's the easiest way to become like them. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you top 7 lessons I learned from 7 of the most successful entrepreneurs in the 19th century. I've previously learned some of these lessons from other sources, but learning them again from these great men is a good reminder. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other exciting videos like this. Number 1. John D. Rockefeller If you want to succeed, you should strike out on new path rather than travel the one path of accepted success. If you want to achieve great success in any field, you have to be courageous enough to strike new paths. The reason for this is because you need a lot of eyeballs to be able to be successful in anything and eyeballs only follow new or unique things. This is what I mean by eyeballs. Attention, attention, attention. You need massive attention to be able to get people to recognize you as an inventor, for example. You need a lot of attention for your product or services to be able to succeed as an entrepreneur. You need people to know you are there and you are doing something to succeed in that field. And there is no way to get those eyeballs if all you do is what everyone else is doing. You have to be courageous to make a road in the desert if you genuinely want to be successful. Number 2. Andrew Carnegie People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. Almost every human being is motivated in some ways. In school, I see many young people reading for long hours and days Examination and degree is your motivation. That's not self-motivation. Today, I see a lot of people waking up by 5 a.m. to rush to the jobs they hate. Salary is your motivation. Yes, I also wake up 5 a.m. many days, but nobody is on my neck to do it. Meaning, I can still afford to wake up at 10 a.m. and there won't be any repercussion whatsoever for my action. Here's the thing, if you're not able to get yourself to do difficult things except someone has to threaten you or promise you a reward, you can't go far in life. Take for instance, if you can't spare 3 hours in a week to read, it's not because you don't know that there are some good books you could read, it's just because you are not self-motivated to read. If tomorrow someone promises to give you $500 for every book you read, you start reading, right? You get the picture. Number 3. JP Morgan Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see further. Again, people tell you that they want to start a business and don't know how to start. My answer to them is, start with any silly thing that comes to your mind. When I went fully into the business world, in the year 2008, my first business was a total flop that I lost it within one week. But from there, I could see the next step until I had my first breakthrough. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you will see further. Number 4. Thomas Edison Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. Some months ago, I studied the biography of Albert Einstein. Ironically, the man wasn't who the world thought he was. If you take time to study the life of Einstein, you'd be surprised to find that he was never a genius. Yes, Albert Einstein 
and so many other people we envy and eulogize today were ordinary people with extraordinary determination. You don't have to be super smart to be successful in anything. You just have to sit down, stay focused and forget yourself in whatever laboratory your calling requires. Number 5. John Jacob Astor An ounce of practice is worth a pound of theory. I have so many friends who said they want to become entrepreneurs and what they do is to read books about entrepreneurship. The problem with this is that you can't know anything by reading about it. That's one of the reasons why school is not the best place to get an education. The true education is in the field. Do you need to read something about driving before driving? Yes. But can you become a good driver by reading about driving? No. Now you get my point. Number 6. Nicholas Tesla Our virtues and our failings are inseparable like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. Think about the most successful men in the history of our world. Think about the men we envied and worshipped all of the time. They fail more than everyone else. So it is that failures and success are inseparable companions. You simply can have one without the other. So if you desire great success in life, you must be willing to sacrifice some of your blood. Number 7. B.D. Mason If you hold your hand closed, nothing good can come in. The open hand is blessed, for it gives in abundance even as it receives. Whenever we talk about the concept of giving, the very first thing that comes to our mind is giving money. Money is the least important thing you can give. You have your brain, your mind, and your entire life. You can give yourself the world, and that's what most people who succeed do. Think about a problem you can solve with your life and be willing to sacrifice the rest of your life for such. You'll only be successful in the proportion to the amount of yourself you are willing to give to make the lives of other humans a little better. In conclusion, if you want to succeed, you should strike out a new path rather than travel the worn-out paths of accepted success. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity no matter how impressive their other talents. Go as far as you can see. When you get there, you'll be able to see further. Genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. An ounce of practice is what a pound of theory. Our virtues and our failings are inseparable, like force and matter. When they separate, man is no more. If you hold your hand closed, nothing good can come in. The open hand is blessed, for it gives in abundance, even as it receives. Thank you for watching our videos. We love you.